Two very well-known professional walleye tournament anglers have been caught and exposed in a now viral video for cheating at the Lake Erie Fall Brawl tournament series that just happened yesterday as of the posting of this video. Now, this is taken not just the fishing industry by by surprise and the, the controversy around this, but it's making its way into the mainstream. I mean, this is circulating all over Twitter and Facebook outside the realm of people that fish. That's how big this is. And we're gonna take a look at that video. Give me one second before we get to it. I'm Michael, the Shy City Hacker. Appreciate you for joining me. I don't normally uh, uh, share this kind of a video, but this is just too big to not react to, commentate on, share my thoughts on this, and especially just kind of watch the video together because this is actually pretty crazy, the extent to which they were cheating. And it's a big controversy. The two gentlemen here, Runyon and Kaminsky, uh, that won the fall brawl last year, I believe. And then we come down to this year. Now, these two anglers have won uh, multiple tournaments together. This is raising the question of whether or not they cheated in those tournaments where they've won cash prizes, they've won boats, a lot of stuff that if they were cheating in those uh, other tournaments, took away from anglers that were legitimately fishing the right way, not cheating at all, which is a, a terrible thing to even think about. Now, let's take a look here. You see them. I mean, they got the paychecks. They've won some of these tournaments on the professional walleye tournament trail. But let's dive into the actual video. Now, before I press play on this, Please make a note that there's vulgar language. It's unedited. This is now at 3.9 million views and just exploding, exploding on social media. So let's take a look here. This was at the actual weigh-in where this transpired. And it's just wild to see what they were doing. Let's take a look here. We're going to react. I mean, I, I don't know if that's the tournament director that's just going off on the guy right here. And I don't know which of the two individuals this is, but he is lit and loose. And I can't imagine how 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 much it took from the hold back, because as you can imagine, these guys are taking money. These guys are professional tournament anglers that live off of this. And and guys, you don't <laughs> You're not making buku money in, in the sport of fishing competitively. You know, it's a lot of grinding. You get sponsors that help with it all. But it's not something where you're necessarily going to be raking in the mills and all of that stuff. You can be comfortable from my understanding of it all. And, and even then, the walleye circuit might be even more niche than the bass circuit, which uh, is the, the biggest within the fishing industry. So kudos to that gentleman for, for just... Expressing his, uh, he was upset, but not escalating this. Let's continue on here. Now we got the swarm of. Now we got the swarm of people coming in because clearly, people are catching on. Something just went down here. So now we got a different vantage point here. This is kind of spliced together from different people's videos that were on site. Uh, and so they got caption going on here, which is helpful to kind of go uh, to follow along here. Here's the catch of walleye. He's standing in the way. We should get a different viewpoint here in a second. Dude, fucking dunk, mother fucker. Call the fucking cop. Everybody listen to me right now. Everybody listen to me right now. Jake, I want you to leave. I don't want anybody to touch these guys. I want you to leave. So again, that gentleman, I don't know if it's the tournament, tournament director, obviously he's part of the organization here uh that's running the tournament but man just a big salute to that guy because in that situation uh the the mob of other anglers there that probably would have took matters into their own hands and and for him to de-escalate it as best he could to not make this go into a direction where it doesn't need to be it's already egregious what what's going on here but certainly in, injecting violence would just take it to another place that it doesn't need to go to so kudos to that gentleman So they're thinking about trying to call the cops. Here's the catch. Now, we're going to find out how bad the cheating is here. Take a look. Going to cut open the fish. Reaches in. Look at the weights. Look. Wow. Wow. Look at this. Another weight. 
Wow. Two weights in them. A filet fish. Look at this. Is a filet, yeah. A filet fish. I mean, a piece of filleted fish. I mean, if you're gonna cheat, it makes sense to put the weights in. But but a, a piece of a filleted fish. I mean, it, I, I know that in tournaments it could come down to like mere ounces to separate first and second. I get that, but you were better off just putting the weights in, leaving the weight. Why would you put a piece of walleye fillet into another walleye and? This this is just my my literally my my head is throbbing right now. This is absurd. This is absurd. That that's the gentleman right there, Jake. Not sure which of the two, Jake who, but that's Jake. And I think the facial expression, even from the profile here, we can see that it. For me, I just see him, and he's probably thinking about his career fishing, not even just professionally, but he is now notorious in the fishing scene, period. Imagine him trying to go out and fish for fun fishing. People see him, and they're like, oh, you're that guy. It's He's done. He is done. Done with a capital D. I got video. You got anything to say? I mean, he's looking at the weights, just just watching his life fizzle into nothingness. It's 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 honestly kind of of a beautiful sight, if I do say so myself. I you know this is ridiculous that anybody would stoop to this level to to cheat. It, it's you know clearly they caught fish, right? They caught. It wasn't like they didn't catch fish; they caught fish. But to then do this, just it, it's a, it's crazy. It's crazy. I don't think we've seen this big of a scandal in a long time. I mean, there was a recent scandal for those of you that kind of follow in it. I didn't cover it at the time, but the the professional musky tournament trail when they banned a live scope from the tournament because there was an issue with the the the, the team that won this year. The more more recently when it happened, uh, uh, the fact that they used live scope and they had multiple live scope setups on their boat. Uh, whatever. I didn't think it was a big deal. They banned it. Whatever. But this right here. Just the the pure egregiousness of the cheating is I don't I can't remember, and if you remember the last time th there's been such a big cheating ordeal in professional fishing tournaments, let me know down in the comments below. Man, they are dogging him, Do uh, rightfully so. I mean, they didn't escalate it to physical altercation, but but the name calling, I mean, dude, if I'm busting my butt to compete, provide for my family, which many of these anglers are, um, and to know that, especially if you beat me by a few ounces in some t previous tournaments, oh my God. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I might, they might have to call the cops before I get to them. That's just me. That's just me. Look at look at all all those poli uh, uh, fillet pieces inside the fish. It that is wild to me. That is wild to me. Look at all the weights that are in there. Got video. Yeah. Wow. One, two, three, four. At least five visible egg sinkers. Those are pretty big. Uh, I don't know, one ounce, two ounces in, inside the bellies. And again, when you're catching a lot of those fish right there, look very cookie cutter, all the same size. If everyone's catching cookie cutter size walleye in that tournament at that particular time, then the ounces make a big difference. And and we see that at least here picture, there's six uh, uh, weights plus the fillets of other walleye stuffed down their, their, their stomachs. Hold on, let me take pictures. You fucked over a lot of people, man. They've been doing this shit for years. Cheating motherfuckers, man. Piece of fucking shit. You got a fucking boat, you got thousands of fucking dollars. You stole from everyone. And that you stole from everyone, and and that that is exactly why people are upset about this and how egregious this whole thing is blowing up, man. 
Um, who? What's going to happen to them? I'm I'm invested now. I mean, what are the the bylaws for the tournament? If you're caught cheating. Certainly, they can't prove that they cheated in the past, so they probably walk away. I'm assuming here that they walk away clean from any of that stuff. They, they'll just be allegations, and people will, in their mind, believe. If they cheated here, then what stopped them from cheating in the previous years when they won? I believe they won last year in 2021, the fall brawl, um, and who knows whatever other tournaments. So the, the idea that that's going to be looming over them, what kind of leeway does the tournament have in any of what happened prior, I don't think there's anything that can be done about it other than what has happened now that they actually caught and have proof on. Does this go to the police? Is it? Do they get charged for fraud? I don't know, but I'm really curious to find out where this story is going to lead. And uh, hopefully this is the last time this happens because, wow, I'm just in shock and amazed that people would stoop to this level just to win a tournament. It's pretty crazy, man. Hey, don't forget to like, subscribe to the channel, and I'll leave you with this meme. There it is. That's essentially how they should have came into the weigh-in. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Later.